Hello everybody and welcome to another Scuffed Radio review video. This one's gonna be a review for the Intellitron High Gain Dual Band 2 meter and 6 meter Mobile Mag Mount Antenna. This model number is the MA-1826. I got it from Gigaparts here in Huntsville and I've been running it for about a week now and I've so far been really really pleased with it. So considering that this is a rather new product uh, there's not much info online about it, no other reviews for it. I figured why not go ahead and make one. So I've got it here on my work van. Um, as you can see, the actual mobile is over there, but uh, this is the work van. So I can't do a whole lot as far as permanent installs go. So that's why everything up here is a magnet mount. Uh, this is an 11 meter, the antenna that we're talking about today, and that's a UHF antenna back there, which is sort of involved in this, but not entirely. So that's the actual antenna. It is 49 inches long. It's a 5 8 wave on two meters and also happens to be resonant on six meters. Should have about five dBi of gain on two meters. I've seen conflicting info about that, but that seems to be the most average number I could find. And unfortunately, Intellitron has not actually released any sort of gain figures for this antenna. They've rated it at, eight, at uh, 300 watts, which is pretty good considering the design of the antenna. But here's the data card for it, 144 to 172. So you could actually use this up on some of the VHF low commercial band. Or is that VHF high? I'm not sure. Max power, 300 watts, height 49 inches. There's your uh, magnet mount with anti-scratch rubber pad and it comes with 12 foot of coax, PL259. And it also came with an adapter. Um, here's the little packet that it came with. We get the adapter, an Allen key, and this little rubber kind of like seal thing, which I guess you would put between this and a regular roof NMO mount. So that's what the base looks like, and we'll get up closer to this in a second. Pretty basic design. I wouldn't expect anything more or less, but uh, let's go ahead and pull this off and actually take a look at it. All right, so I've got the antenna sitting on a folding table here, just so we can kind of inspect it a little bit and go over some details. So. Here's the base, and um, as you work your way up, the whip actually gets thinner. So at the very tip, it's pretty thin um, compared to the base here where it's a little thicker. I think that's how they can get away with such a small magnet mount is just there's not a whole lot of wind loading. Um, if I hold this up and kind of wave it around, there's not a whole lot of weight on it. So it gets away with being a magnet mount pretty good. The magnet mount that it came with is not the strongest thing in the world but I've taken this thing up to highway speeds and had no issues whatsoever, so I suppose it's sufficient. Here's the little set screw. Came set from the factory. I haven't had to tune it. It was already resonant right where it needed to be. Inside the NMO, not the best construction quality I've ever seen. Normally these have like a pin or some other kind of spring-loaded contact. This is pretty much just a little tab of metal. Now, if it works, then it works, you know, but I'd be worried about that eventually breaking in, you know, five years or whatever. Um, the actual construction on this piece doesn't feel like the best ever. It says Intellitron on it. It says the model number, which is really nice because a lot of these 5.8s don't come with any markings on them, and then you're left with these mystery antennas. Um, so I appreciate that. Um, but there's the base of it. it. Like I said, doesn't feel like the strongest thing in the world. I mean, I don't think it would break. I'm just worried about longevity, and I'm worried about that contact there eventually wearing out. But it says it can handle 300 watts, and I, I believe it. The mobile radio is pushing about 100 watts, 102 watts into this thing, so it's a pretty substantial uh, signal that comes out of here. I like this antenna pretty good. Uh, it's on top of a van, and it's a 5 8 and I don't really hit anything with it. I haven't hit anything with it yet. I mean, there's not much else to say about it. It's a 5 8 as far as this thing goes interfering with other antennas, I've not noticed any interference problems. There's my 11 meter, which as you can see is not that far away from the 5.8s, but I haven't noticed any issues. Same goes for the UHF. Have not noticed any problems. So let's go ahead and put this back on and uh, I'll talk a little bit about the rest of my setup, which has changed since the last video I made on it with the, uh, the Kenwood 100 watt radio. Let's go ahead and put that on there. You know what I am gonna do? I'm gonna put that little rubber pad around this thing. I personally don't really feel like it would need it, but now I'm kind of thinking maybe there's going to be a gap or something if I don't put it on. So that seems like it should kind of just push on around the thing, on the threads, and uh, maybe just kind of 
act as a seal to keep moisture out. Yeah, this is kind of a rubbery, rubbery surface here. Go ahead and just get it flat on there. Oh yeah, that's, that's better. All right, now let's just put the 5 8 back on here. Uh, see if I can do this one-handed. There we go, okay. Yeah, I feel a little better about that. As you can see when I'm turning it, the magnet mount really doesn't put up a whole lot of resistance here. We'll kind of tighten that down there, just like that. Okay. So yeah, you can kind of see the distance apart from these antennas, there's not that much. But uh, let's go over the other aspect of this setup, which is the whole reason why I got that antenna. All right, so what you're looking at back here is a Kenwood TK890 UHF, I believe it's also a 100 watt commercial radio. And it's got the cable, the stupid expensive <laughs> interface cable there. And it's just wired up to my Kenwood TK790, just like it's supposed to be. Got its own power wire, got its own antenna. As you saw, the UHF one in the back, and it's controlled up here. Now, here's something interesting. These commercial radios make really good crossband repeaters. So I have this one set up to where if I push this button on the side, it goes into repeater mode. Boy, does this thing work great as a crossband repeater. Uh, that 5 8 wave with the separate UHF antenna kicks ass. It is fantastic. So we got that going for us. I love this new Intellitron 5 8 wave antenna. Highly recommend it. And you know what the best part is about all this? The price. This antenna costs, from Gigaparts, a total of, with tax, $32.65. Which is a whole lot better than a lot of other 5 8 wave I've seen 5 8 wave antennas I've seen that cost around $60 to $70, which is just insane. This one was a good price and it works great. So I definitely recommend this new Intellitron antenna. I think it's really, really cool. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Bye, 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 bye.